everyone, today I'm going to show you a very easy way to make your own round straw bag. The first thing you'll need are two straw placemats from IKEA. If you want to use the same ones as I did, you'll find the link for them in the description box down below. You'll also need one meter of burlap fabric or burlap ribbon. Just make sure it's thick enough to hold everything you want to place in your bag. The next thing you'll need are some scissors, an old belt to make the straps out of, some twine and a big fat needle. The first thing I did was to fold my burlap fabric in half, just to double the fabric so my bag will be sturdier. I used some pins to hold the fabric in place and stitched it on one side to create this longer strip. Next I folded in the edges twice so I could hem them and give them a much neater look. And here is how those hemmed edges turned out. Now you'll need to attach the ribbon in between the placemats. To do that, just pin it and sew it all the way around. Now you have one more to go. Place it on top, pin it and sew it all the way around. One of the reasons I've chosen these particular placemats for my project was because they weren't as thick as the other ones and I knew I wanted to use my sewing machine for this DIY and I also wanted my stitches to be on the inside so these placements are thin enough for me to be able to turn my bag inside out. And that's what I did next. I won't lie, it was a bit of a struggle to turn it inside out, but I think it's worth it. As you can see, my bag was pretty wrinkled after this, so I just covered it with a piece of fabric and ironed it. Now that the bag's body is done, we can move on to the straps. To make the straps I've used an old leather belt that I found in a thrift store and I just cut it in half to create my two straps. I've used some scissors to make the edges round. Since one of the ends of the belt had already had a hole in it, I've decided to use a hole puncher to create another one on the other end. I later discovered that my belt was too thick to be able to poke the needle through it, so I just used my hole puncher once again to create two holes on each side of the strap. This way it was much easier for me to sew the straps on. And this is the finished product, I think it looks nice with the twine detail. Next I want to show you how to create a cute tassel for your bag. To make your tassel you'll need some yarn and a piece of cardboard. The width of the cardboard will be the length of your tassel. Wrap the yarn around the cardboard until it has the desired thickness. Use a string to tie everything into a double knot at the top. Cut the wrapped string along the bottom and take it off the cardboard. Cut another piece of string and you will be wrapping this string around the top part of your tassel to hold it together. Now trim the bottom of your tassel to make it even. Now you just need to tie it onto your bag and you're done! I hope you enjoyed this DIY, if you did don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you want you can also subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you next time, bye!